Verse 14, um, chapter 14, verse 4. Uh, start at verse 1. Revelations, chapter 14, and verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood in the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand. Those are the virgins. Read on. Having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it... 144,000, they sung. Read on. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000, mm -hmm. which were redeemed from the earth. Read. These are they which were not defiled with women. Meaning philosophies. It's not that they had any wives. It's talking about philosophies. Let's prove that. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. Let's read uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. So you can underline when you get to Revelations, just underline that. Defiled with women and put this precept next to it. Read that. 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 1. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, uh -huh. that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. That I may present you as what? A chaste virgin to Christ. Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. But if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Okay, so it was going to, we, he, exp, he has espoused us to what? One husband, and we are to be a church, a chaste virgin unto Christ. Meaning, what made us uh, not chaste? Uh, what made us not virgin if we would have went into another philosophy? That's why it says another spirit, another Jesus. That's espoused to another husband. That's why when you also look at the analogies of even Jeremiah, it says you are, um, you have committed whoredom with many lovers. Uh, you have gone over the sea and sat down as, the, uh, as a raven in the wilderness. And uh, look about the land, see, see whom you have not committed adultery with. Israel went all type of madness, similar to us today. So when he's, talk, when he's talking about uh, uh, virgins, he's talking about one doctrine. Okay, not uh, uh, many doctrines. Not drinking out of uh, many cisterns. You understand that? Y'all remember that scripture in Proverbs? Drink waters out of your own cistern. Let's get it real quick. Proverbs chapter 5. 5.15. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 15. Drink waters out of thine own cistern. It says drink water out of thine own cisterns. So a cistern is, is what you use. It's like a it's like a pitcher, uh, whatever that provides water. It says drink waters out of your own cistern. Now let's see who that cistern was. Let's go to uh matter of fact, read on in that and we'll go to that. And running waters out of thine own well. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, read verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. Mm -hmm. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. They have they what? Forsaken me, the fountains of what? Living waters. Read on. And you dip out cisterns, broken cisterns that could hold no water. Talking about the other people that we relied on. Upon Egypt, okay, upon the Syrian, the way, the way, all the nations that we relied upon. God said, when you did that, you try to make sisters, you try to drink their water, not what I've had to provide. Go back up to verse 10 and 11. Go to verse 10 and 11. Read that. Jeremiah chapter yeah. 2 and verse 10. For pass over the isles of Shittim, uh -huh. and see and send unto Kadar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Have a nation changed their gods? Even to the the nations ain't changed their god. They, the Africans still believe in the, the sun god, Raleigh still believe in the crocodile and all that other stuff. The 
Esau, they still believe in Zeus and all this other stuff in this madness. They just inserted it in different ways. Now they call them Santa Claus, all this other stuff. They ain't changed their gods. We changed our gods, even his image. We changed and say he's white and we're okay with that. But then we read out of the Bible and say that's, that doesn't matter. God is asking now, has the nations have done this? Have they, have they, have they settled for lies? Is Israel a homeborn slave that he can just take anything? Read on. Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back uh, to where we were. Proper Revelations. Yeah, we finished that off in Proverbs. Let's go back and finish that off in Revelations 14. Revelations chapter 14 and verse 4. Verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. So these were they that drunk waters out of their own sisters. They have not followed philosophies. That's the defiled with women. They have followed the lamb. Read on. Read on. Read on. Read on. But they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb. Going what? back to that what we just read. Chaste virgins unto Christ. Read on. They follow the lamb. Whithersoever he goeth, uh -huh. these were redeemed from among men. Why? Being the first fruit unto God Read on. and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no God, for they are without fault before the throne of because God. They have kept the doctrine to which they were given. They have kept the, uh, the, the doctrine that we receive now. That song, that song is what? The commandments and the faith of Jesus Christ. We all should be singing the same song. Everybody know perfect. That's the lyrics of this song. Keep the commandments of God. And the faith of Jesus Christ. So that's when they say, "Well, not the five who asked his brother say your name again one more time." Benny, Benny, Yael. 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 So that's the chase version. It's talking about one hundred and forty-four thousand. All right. All praises go. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.